guys, Marty Schwartz here again with GuitarJams.com. You can click down there. I'll send you a bunch of cool lessons that are on YouTube, um, as well as you know you can check out the site. I always appreciate that. But anyway, I'm going to teach you this tune right now, so let's get rocking. So the first, um, the main riff. You know, some of you may only want to learn this little riff for fun, but I'll go on to the rest. It's the G blues scale. And what we're going to start is the fifth tone of the scale, or the fifth of the, of the root. We're going to have our ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. Then we go to the third on the E. Then we go to the sixth on the E. Then three on the A. Four. straight from right from that blues scale then we're gonna go to a power chord with the root on the A string on the fourth fret up a whole step up another whole step so that would look like this then we're going to go six, six and eight on the A string. Just six, eight, six, eight, nine. Six, eight, six, eight, nine. Then nine on the E string. Check out that little riff. It's weird. It's not hard, but it's strange. So we've got. Then the next thing. Da, 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 right on the six of the A string, back to the nine of the E, to the nine on the A. Oops, sorry. You could use your ring finger instead of your pinky if you want. That's up to you. Some guys do that. And then the next thing, we're going to hit this note again. We're on the ninth of the A. We're going to go to seven on the A, seven on the E, then ten on the E. Check that out. So all together from uh, the whole thing, I'll do it really slow. Anyway, 
I promised I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Here's the little breakdown part, the little, the little acoustic part. It gets sensitive. Capo's on the third fret. That's what Ian Anderson, there is no guy named Jethro Tull, but Ian Anderson, the leader, you know, the lead guy of Jethro Tull, he loves, you know, acoustic, capo, the whole thing. So we get E minor. But with the capo here, it's actually a G minor chord, so we're actually still in the key of that G, that main riff. But so we've got E minor to D major, D major again to A major. Then it switches to A minor. Ooh, fancy. To E minor to D. Ian Anderson loves the little taking the middle finger off and adding it and with the A major you can do the same thing with the ring finger and you can add your pinky on the B string a half step higher so here we go I'll say the chords E minor to D All right, so if those chords were to translate on electric without uh, the capo and without the acoustic, it would be a G minor bar chord to F major. So the middle finger goes down, stays there. Or a C bar or a C bar chord. Because then you have to go C minor to G minor. 